Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Pretty Presets and I wanted to make a video today about a few of the things that I actually go over to Photoshop to do. I use Lightroom all the time, 99% um, of the time definitely, but there are a few things that we can't do in Lightroom um, that I have to go over to Photoshop for. And the reason I wanted to start learning Photoshop is so that I could do sky, um, sky swap or sky overlay, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is definitely a photo I wanted to do that on. Um, we have the pretty presets that work in Lightroom, but we also have pretty actions, and that's what we use in Photoshop. And pretty actions has a sky overlay tool that is magic, and it's actually called Magic um, Sky Replace, and I'm going to show you how I use it. So I'm here in Lightroom, and I, I have already cropped this photo the way that I want it um, because I don't want to do extra work in making the sky look correct on the parts that are not, they're going to be cropped out and they're not going to be in the photo anyways. So quickly, I'm going to hit Command E, and that is going to open this photo for me in Photoshop. I didn't have to export, save, reopen, anything like that. It automatically sends it right over here. The very first thing I want to do when I get over here is I'm actually going to hit my brush tool, which is B on, the, uh, on your keyboard. Um, and I have white selected right here. And I'm actually going to um, paint this white back here. I don't know, why are we not working? <clears throat> oh, per, I didn't have, okay, see, perfect. This is an example. I had my opacity turned down too far, um, down to 11, so it wasn't showing me. If you ever have, this happens in Lightroom too, there are so many times that I'm like, why is my brush not working? And the opacity got changed. So. Always check that first. I'm glad I looked up here. So, okay, opacity back to 100. I'm on white, um, and I'm going to paint these bushes out back here because I don't want them back there. This was actually water and sky, but it's all so blown out that I don't, um, I don't really want any of it back there. So I'm just gonna go through here and paint all this sort of yellowish um, down to white. I do wanna get in here kind of close to her hair and her dress. Um, same thing over here. Um, and I'm controlling my brush size with the bracket keys uh, on the keyboard. Okay, so I've gotten rid of all of that. Easy peasy. Okay, then I'm going to come right here and I've already um, downloaded the action. Obviously, it's already in here for me. And I'm going to pick Blown Out Sky Magic Replace and hit play. Um, I'm going to read my instruction here and hit continue. Oops. <clears throat> I'm going to um, flatten that before I do it. Then it should work. Blown out sky, play, continue. Perfect. Okay, and I think that I want sky number nine. It's one of my favorites that I use often because it actually looks like a real sky. Um, I'm gonna hit place. It's gonna bring it up here for me. And sometimes it takes a second when you're running Photoshop and Lightroom at the same time. Um, there can be a little bit of, um, a little bit of lag, so you have to have patience sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this up till it fits my screen. And you can adjust this. You can drag it and make it any um, size that you need for your photo. But I think that this size um, fits the photo fine for me, so I'm going to leave it right here at this. I do wanna make sure and get it down past, you know, down here where my grass is so that everything gets covered. And once I'm happy with where that is, I hit the check mark, it places it, and notice how, I don't know if any of you have tried to do a sky overlay. I had tried previously to do sky overlays and I was horrible at it 
it covered everything and I just could not go back in with that brush and fix everything. And um, this does not do that. You still have to do some touch up, but it is so much easier. So I have my brush tool selected. Uh, my opacity is at 100. I am on white here and I am just gonna go over their faces to make sure that any part of their face did not get um, the sky on it. And I know it might be hard to see, but actually a little bit of the highlights in their hair and on the edge of Brooke's face, it did get a little bit um, on their, on her arm right here, there is some. So um, in the sequence of her dress. So you can use a pretty big brush and go through and just really, really, really make sure there is no sky on your subject. Okay, so I'm done with that. The next thing over here, this is what's gonna make your sky look real. Um, the very first thing I usually hit is blur your sky and when you see the little eyeball that turns it on because I usually shoot with my black, I like the background to be blurred out a little bit so my sky needs to match that. I'm also gonna turn on sky fade and what that does is as you can see here, it, it brings up it makes it look a little bit more natural, like there's a little more light at the bottom of the sky, which there normally is. Um, I am, for this time, going to hit lighter sky because I just want it lighter all over. Um, let's see, I don't want it cooler, I don't want it warmer, I don't want it darker, um, so I'm not gonna hit any of those, but I am gonna come down here and click on my actual cloud overlay I'm going to come here to my opacity and I am going to change the opacity of the whole sky. I'm going to turn it down, um, not a lot, but just a little bit because I really want it to look as natural as possible. There's some pictures you're not trying to make it look natural, you're going for drama, but here I am going for natural. I want um, you to still focus on the girls. I want the sky to be a pretty thing that came along with it, but I want the focus on the girls. So I'm gonna turn it down. I think 86 um, looks good. And then one more thing, I'm gonna come back over here, um, click back on my um, my perfect sky, the black, the uh, mask here. And I've got my brush, and that's where I'm gonna turn my opacity down. And I'm gonna turn it down pretty low to like um, 10. And using a big brush, I'm gonna swoop just a little bit and remember, when you lift your finger up and click again, it does it again. It's collective. So you don't want to be clicking a whole bunch of times or you're going to have the effect um, lots of times. Just be aware because I didn't know. It's not like that in Lightroom, but it is in Photoshop. So just with this big brush, just, just to take it out a little bit where you want it around the girls right here to make sure that they really um, blend in well and it doesn't look strange by their head area at all. I'm going to turn it down even further just and just go a pass over the whole thing like that. And I am happy with that. I think that looks great. Um, I am going to come right here and flatten the image. And as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to hit Command S. And like magic, it puts it back into Lightroom for me. See how it is rendering right here? So I'm not, um, you know, saving it out of Photoshop and reopening it in Lightroom. Uh, it is sending it all the way back to Lightroom for me, ready for me to edit in here. So I'm going to finish up in Lightroom with my pretty presets that I like to use. Um, these girls are so beautiful that I swear anything I pick looks so pretty on them that I really can pick anything. Um, Radiant is one that I really love. And the reason that I actually went and did the sky before I brought it back over here is because I want the preset to affect the sky the same exact way as the rest of the picture because I want the coloring to be exact. So uh, there would be Radiant if I wanted to go that, uh, that route. Olive Branch is going to be, oh, that's beautiful. Olive Branch keeps a little bit of that sky that actually was um, blue. 
what else could we use here? Um, Velvet Dusk, that's really pretty too. Um, oh yeah, I think I really like Velvet Dusk. So I'm going to leave it at Velvet Dusk, although I probably should look at Wild Harvest once. And this is honestly, I swear this is what I do when I am editing. I click on no less than 10. I really love that too. Um, just to see what I really like the best. I do like that, but I really, um, I really do think that I liked Velvet Dusk. So I'm going to stick with Velvet Dusk. And honestly, if you wanted to, you can do lots of different options. You can save it a few different times, however you like. But um, I could go back in here too and I might touch up their eyes. I would probably do a little bit of sharpening um, and that kind of thing. Um, over here in my sharpening, because it is sort of a portrait, I would turn up my masking. I like to do a little bit of masking um, and then make them a little bit sharper. See how their eyes just really came out? I like that. Um, so anyways, I hope that that helped you. Uh, that is how I first learned to use Photoshop. And I, I did recently, more recently, find how you can switch back and forth between Photoshop and Lightroom. And that has really just changed my editing completely. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But I hope that was helpful.